You have a background in, in English literature in your studies, and I've noticed there are so many literary elements and theatrical elements. There's definitely Greek and Shakespearean themes to this. So I was wondering how that comes into play for you. Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, part of it is that I grew up reading, you know, and so the uh, novelistic approach to storytelling on television is something that really appeals to me, which is this idea of being able to start a character here and then let them go away and then bring them back. You know, you see us do that in the first season, you know, with Lobos or with Stern. That sort of novelistic approach where it doesn't always look the same is really helpful. It's where you trust your audience to remember things, <laughs> um, which I think is really great. Uh, I also think that's reflected in uh, The Good Wife, where I came from, and so I think part of of it is that the as a power is plotted similarly. They don't look the same, but the the shows have a lot in common in that way. And I think what's what's also interesting is coming from the good wife and coming from a background that you wouldn't necessarily have experience in this realm or even know a lot about it. Mm -hmm collaborating with 50, but also bringing your own imagination to the table. How did you weave the two together? Well, you know, he's an astounding storyteller. You know, he really has such a great concept of character. And when he tells me stories about growing up or things from his past, he tells them the way that other writers tell them. You know, he, he gets you to the, the great parts of the story. So it's really easy, actually, to blend those things because he has a native understanding of this classical structure that we really try to work with on power. And um, you know, it really overlaps. As for my imagination, you know, um, I have an incredibly dark side. And so a lot of really ugly, terrible things that happen on the show are things that I come up with and I don't know, <laughs> or my writers, and it just, it just comes from a place of what could happen? You know, what if? That's the question that writers are always asking. What if? So that's where it comes from. What's, what's also, I think, great about working in TV is that you have so many episodes, you have thankfully more than one season to explore characters and explore different storylines. For you, were there aspects of the story in these characters that you didn't get to really touch on in season one that you're really looking forward to delving into or have delved into for season two now? Uh, well, I think one thing is definitely the idea of extended family. Um, the idea of the world of these characters getting bigger and seeing more little elements of other people. We meet a main character's mother this season. You know, there are little elements that are important for the audience to really feel like these people are in the world. That's what we always try to do as writers, at least in my writer's room, is we always say, could you run into Tommy on the street? And if you can't run into Tommy on the street, if he starts to feel, or Go starts to feel like someone you would never meet, then you've got to push him right back in and make sure that they feel realistic. And one of those things is family. Everybody has a backstory. Everybody has a family. So absolutely, this year, that's one of the things we're looking at. And right now, TV is fascinating because women are getting a chance, I think, to shine in ways that they're not getting on film. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we have a ways to go. But I was wondering for you, do you feel like when you're crafting these characters, women who are not on the sidelines, who are making choices, who are active participants in the story, that you're working to counteract something that's, that's already sort of engraved in our minds from previous uh, shows and stories, or that you're just naturally writing these roles because that's the way life is? That's a great question, too. Um, I do feel that uh, sometimes women, uh, female characters, can be really simple. And they can be drawn as just the idea around the man. There's the sort of what I always like to call the Adam's rib of TV writing uh, or of characterization, whereas women are real and uh, fully realized humans <laughs> with <laughs> full, uh, complicated inner lives. And I think that actually, um, the idea has been around for a long time that if you make a female protagonist who takes up screen time that men won't want to watch. Mm -hmm. And that's not true. I mean, especially if she's hot, <laughs> they're going to watch, you know. So I think the issue is just about um, believing that the characters are worthwhile. And for me, as a woman, it's like if I were to write a, um, if I were to write a, sh a show about myself, I would hope that it would be interesting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that you know, having that that complicated inner life for all of the characters, male and female, um, that's what's required, and that's where we push ourselves.